Welcome back to the CoinChimp YouTube channel. Today we're touching an important topic, maximal extractable value or MEV. We'll explore how Bitcoin, Caspa, Ethereum, Solana and XRP approach MEV resistance, comparing their strengths and weaknesses. Stick around until the end where we'll share a summary table highlighting the key differences. Let's start with the basics. MEV, or maximal extractable value, is the profit miners or validators can uh, extract by reordering, including or excluding transactions in blocks. It's a major issue in decentralized systems, leading to practices like front running and sandwich attacks that harm regular users and undermine fairness. Jumping ahead of your transaction, known as front running, happens when an attacker sees your transaction in the queue and places their own before yours. For example, if you're buying a token at a specific price, the attacker can buy it first, driving up the price and then sell it back to you at a higher rate. They profit and you pay more. A sandwich attack is a sneakier version. The attacker places one transaction before yours and another right after. For instance, they see you're about to buy a token, so they buy it first to increase the price, then let your transaction go through at a higher price and finally sell the token at a profit you lose money because you pay more than expected. These tricks hurt regular users by making transactions more expensive or less fair, while attackers pocket the difference at your expense. Bitcoin's 10-minute block interval provides a significant window for MEV exploitation. Miners can monitor the mempool to prioritize high-fee transactions leveraging replace-by-fee, RBF. While Bitcoin's UTXO model limits complex MEV scenarios, new features like ordinals add layers of complexity, potentially increasing MEV risks. Ethereum, with its account-based model, is a hotspot for MEV. Validators can reorder transactions in each block to extract maximum value, often engaging in strategies like front-running or back-running, while solutions like Flashbots aim to mitigate MEV by redistributing extracted value the issue remains prominent due to Ethereum's reliance on sequential block production. Solana's high throughput and short block times reduce the window for MEV exploitation, but not entirely. Its proof-of-history mechanism organizes transactions based on time, creating some resistance. However, validators still have discretion over transaction ordering, leaving room for MEV strategies. XRP, using the Ripple consensus protocol, does not rely on miners or validators in the traditional sense. Instead, pre-selected nodes reach consensus, significantly reducing MEV opportunities. However, this centralized approach uh, has trade-offs as it limits decentralization and user participation in the validation process. Caspa's block tag architecture sets this apart. Parallel block production disrupts traditional MEV strategies and rapid block times, currently one block per second, reduce the time miners have to exploit MEV opportunities. By fostering competition among miners and randomizing transaction ordering, Caspa creates a decentralized, fairer environment. Here's a comparison of these networks' cross-key metrics to highlight their MEV resistance capabilities. Bitcoin's long block times and sequential transaction ordering create a large window for MEV, giving it low resistance. Ethereum improves slightly with shorter block times, but still relies on sequential ordering, leaving room for manipulation. Solana's fast block rate reduces the MEV window, but retains some risks due to its partially sequential ordering. XRP's predetermined validators provide high MEV resistance, though its low decentralization raises trust concerns. Caspa stands out with its block DAG architecture, parallel transaction sequencing, and rapid block rates, making its MEV window the smallest and its resistance the highest among the group. Overall, Caspa showcases an innovative approach to tackling one of our technology's biggest challenges, fairness and decentralization. I hope you found this content valuable. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials and insights like this. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter to stay updated with the latest developments in this technology and beyond. Let's keep exploring and learning together. Until the next time, cheers.